One of the toughest things about starting a business is how to get enough funds to run the business. I mean, think of it this way. You've got a killer idea about how to solve a particular problem, but it's going to cost you a huge sum of money to produce it and then to put it out for as many people as possible to see. Where do you get that kind of money from? Here's the thing. You want to start the business already. After all, that's what some of the great leaders say. For instance, Walt Disney, founder of Disney once said, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Yes, you want to start but you just can't wrap your head around the funding part of it. Well, here's some good news for you. In this video, I'll share with you the 10 best ways to finance your business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Personal Savings Business isn't something you wake up one morning and decide to start. No, it takes proper planning including plans towards how to finance it and one of the easiest ways to do that is investing your savings into your business. Whether the money comes from your checking account, a family inheritance or funds sitting in an old money market account, using your own money isn't only an easier and popular method entrepreneurs use to fund their businesses. It's a trustworthy method that can help even to generate more funds from third parties who'll see you as someone who's committed to growing the business and making the best of it. 2. Family and Friends If you don't have enough personal savings to fund your business, you can look to your family members and friends for support. The thing with family members and friends is that they can easily be persuaded than bank officials or any other organization. They know your capabilities and they can easily trust you to deliver well on the project. They can provide funding either in equity form or debt funding. Whichever the case, they're likely going to look past your bank account balances or credit score in determining if you deserve it or not. Neither are they likely going to demand stringent repayment terms or high interest rates. Sounds good, right? 3. Angel Investors Angel investors are affluent individuals ready to invest in businesses. They provide fast funding for businesses at any level. However, they are less concerned about the product and more interested in the market research that you have done, the business plan that you have written and the viability of your projections. This means that you have to be thoroughly prepared when going to seek funds from one. In a bid to be prepared, however, do not lie or mislead them as your proposition will be scrutinized before even throwing any cash at you. 4. Partnership Taking a partner is also a form of financing but the partner may or may not become an employee. The partnership helps spread the workload as well as the funds. So, what you should ordinarily be doing alone can be conveniently shared between you two. Although it's a small business funding, it's effective and reliable. Each partner gives their best into the business because they are both directly investing into it. 5. Venture Capital or Private Equity Venture capitals are organizations looking to make relatively large investments like angel investors and take a significant share of the company. The major difference between venture capital and angel investors is that while the latter is an individual, the former involves dealing with fully established businesses in their own right. Also, angel investors are motivated by their interests, whereas venture capitalists are accountable for every decision they make, making their processes stricter. However, when it comes to venture capital, you are open to a lot more capital than the case of angel investors. More money for you can mean higher chances of building a successful brand. 6. Small Business Loans Small business loans as they are called are loans you get from small business administrations. In this case, most lenders may seek some sort of assets to secure and guarantee them that the loan will be repaid. Aside from that, there is no sharing of the company or any of the other terms and conditions applied to bigger organizations. 7. Grants and Financial Support Depending on your industry and where you are based, there are various types of government and privately supported funds that you could be eligible to receive but you have to do your research. While this is a good way to fund your business as it doesn't require payback other than a few conditions and requirements to be met, it can be difficult to qualify as the grants are available to everyone. 8. Secured Bank Loans Securing a bank loan has been a traditional method for business owners to source funds for their startups because they are aware that the money being loaned is from an approved and credible source. 
Although, to secure a bank loan, you must have a good personal credit score, as no financial institution will vouch for someone who can't keep up with their payments. Also, you'll have to provide the bank with some sort of collateral to give them an insurance policy. 9. Get a side gig A second income stream might not be a bad idea when considering how to fund your businesses, especially if you're not willing to compromise on your savings or if your paycheck is barely enough to take care of your daily expenses. Thankfully, there are numerous side gigs that you can consider, such as being an Uber driver, a freelance writer, and a blogger. You can freelance any skills or talents that you already possess. 10. Sell your assets Depending on how much you are willing to commit to your business, selling your asset might be an option you can consider. However, if you are not confident of a return, then we won't advise you doing this. On the other hand, you can be creative with how you sell your assets. For instance, instead of remortgaging your house or selling your car, if you have extra space in your house, you can put it up for rent to a lodger. That way, you'll still make enough funds to finance your business without losing it all. There you go. Which of these funding options will you consider? Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.